This is the way, guys. What's up? It's the Iron Mandalorian, and welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute, okay? Let's just let's just start with that. It has been a minute. Uh, I am so sorry. I have not posted any like actual full vlogs of me recently. Um, <laughs> to be completely honest, I've been kind of busy, uh, mostly with work schedule and some other stuff. Um, but I have also um. I've really just had nothing to film, honestly. I've gotten you guys those uh, few shorts that I did, uh, like, last weekend or whatever, um, and I really hope you guys enjoyed those. If you have not watched them already, go check them out because they were really fun to film. <laughs> that Spider-Man one, my gosh, that was hilarious. Like, I've seen that so much on Instagram, I couldn't help but film it. It is currently 3.05 on Thursday, June 15th of 2023. Just throwing that out there for you guys so you know what timetable this is on. Um, the reason for this vlog today is, let's get right into it. I placed a Shop Disney order last weekend. I know, I placed another one. I know, I know, it's a lot. But guys, you gotta understand, I'm a Disney dork, okay? And I'm already wearing some of the merch right now on my head. And I could not pass this up because Shop Disney had one of their yearly 50% off sales going right now. And a bunch of the stuff that I wanted from Disney, like that I was going to get in the park when I go to Disneyland in July for my birthday, which I have mentioned before, so that's no spoilers for you guys. Uh, it was on Shop Disney with this sale, and I wanted to get it while it was on sale, even cheaper than I would have gotten it in the park. Uh, now, because I want to have enough room to bring home some stuff uh, that I actually can only get in the park on my plane ride back home in July. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Um, I'm going to be going probably from least favorite to favorite. Okay, let's start with the one that I'm wearing actually right now. The May the 4th Be With You 2023 Star Wars Day baseball cap. Guys, okay, you're about to see my hair, all right? Don't judge, okay? I got hat hair. Don't judge what, how my hair looks, you guys. Um, I was at the gym this morning, so I'm kind of sweaty. I've been wearing this hat all morning, so my hair's kind of messed up. Just don't judge, all right? <laughs> uh, anyway, this hat, i it's been a long time coming, all right, you guys? I have been waiting so long to get some Star Wars Day merch from Disney, and it is about time I got this, all right? Um, first of all, I'd like to just, just go over this first thing here. Look at the Greedo poking his head out on the emblem. This is their emblem for the 2023 Star Wars Day this year, and I know it's late, all right? It's June. It's not even May anymore. I get it, but this was not on sale on Shop Disney for the longest time. So I'm very lucky to have gotten this. Um, I consider myself very lucky. But yeah, like I was saying, the Greedo, he's super cute. I love that. I don't know why they made him look like that. I think it might be for um, some of those newer, like, I don't know if you guys have seen them, like the smaller Star Wars plushes that they've been making recently. Um, like the little baby guys, I think. Greedo's species is called Rodian. Uh, just Star Wars fact for you guys there. So this may not even be Greedo. This could just be like a baby Rodian. Okay, but honestly, for me, looking at the color of it, I'm going to say it's Greedo. Puta, puta solo. Also, of course, cannot exclude the Star Wars Day, actual Star Wars Day emblem right here. Okay, 2023. Basically the same May the 4th be with you emblem that they have every year but they just added 2023 to it. I think there might be a little bit of a difference in style, but I think this is basically the same as what they do every year. Um, honestly, the hat is a great fit. The only thing I'm going to say I don't like about it is this back here, the adjusting strap. I don't like that. Guys, like, why is it like those one of those cheap plastic button ones? Like, I don't get that. I don't like it. Um, I mean, I'm fine with it. Like, it doesn't, like, bother the back of my head or anything. But, like, I'm used to wearing those hats that have, like, the clip straps or something like that, you know? Um, but yeah, like, I, I don't, I don't get this. Like, I don't know why they did it this way. I like the hat, but this is the only thing I really don't like about it. But yeah, um, anyway, that's the first piece of merch. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think of it, honestly. Um, I'll be ranking everything I have here to show you guys today. Uh, towards the end of the video, um, but this is the first thing, the May the 4th hat, and I finally have a piece of Star Wars Day May the 4th Be With You merch, and I'm so happy about that. Second thing, guys, uh, this may seem a little repetitive, but it's another hat, 
Okay, but this one, this was kind of an add-on to the order so I could get free shipping. Um, because, you know, Shop Disney has the whole thing of $75 or more of a purchase. You get free shipping, you know, whatever. But I also did want to get this because it matches the shirt that I have. Um, so I'm going to show you this, this to you guys now. Uh, this hat, it's so cool. I was going to get this originally, but um, when I first saw the design that they were selling at Disney, but then I saw they had a t-shirt of it, and I was like, oh, I want to get the t-shirt, because the t-shirt, fun fact, is actually athletic wear. So I finally have a Marvel t-shirt that I can wear to the gym, guys, and I love wearing it to the gym. It's so cool. But the only con I'd say about the t-shirt, it shrunk kind of easily um, with how many times I've had to wash it, because, you know, gym shirt, obviously. The hat is the same design, okay? Like, okay, look at that. All right, it's Miles Morales, if you guys didn't know. And I did see... The new Spider-Verse movie, guys. Oh my gosh. I will not spoil the movie for you guys if you have not seen it yet. Uh, so I will not put any spoilers into this video. But let's just say the movie oh, it was so good. It was so good, guys. And there... Oh my gosh. I want to spoil it for you guys so badly. But I don't know if any of you who are watching this video right now have seen it yet or not. So if you have seen the movie, put in the comments what you thought of it. If you have not seen the movie, put in the comments... Thank you for not spoiling the movie. <laughs> um, but anyway, I wanted to get the hat because I'd seen the movie and I was like, oh my gosh, that was such a good movie. I want to get something that, you know, would relate to it now. I was going to try and get the new Nike Air Jordan 1s uh, that they that Nike made for the new movie. Completely missed my chance on that. So unfortunately, I missed out on those shoes and I had to go see the movie without them. And I'm sure they'll make another pair of them for when... The movie gets released. The second part of the movie gets released next year. That is not a spoiler, by the way, because uh, we, everybody already knew that the movie is, that came out this year is part one, uh, and it even says part one on the title. So there you go. No spoilers. Uh, all things aside, with the movie, the hat. I love this design so much. Okay, like this is literally an awesome hat. The artist that they had make this design for the series that they did, uh, which they're still selling some of it on Shop Disney. I love this so much. I love the colors. I love the fact that it's Miles doing his, you know, his his classic Spider-Man jump into uh, New York. Oh, it is, Miles. A leap of faith. Like, what's up, danger? Like, what's up, danger? Like, he's diving into the city. I love that so much. And this is very interesting. I've never seen a strap like this on a, on a hat before. But it's like, it's a buckle strap, guys. It's a buckle strap. You see that? Look at there. I'll, show, I'll, unbuckle, I'll unbuckle it for you guys so you can see. If I push this, see? Look at that. It's a, it's a buckle strap. So it was a little confusing um, adjusting it the first time I ever wore it, which was literally yesterday because I wore it with my shirt and it looks so good with the shirt. You guys, I wish I had like the entire collection because they had sweatpants, they had a sweatshirt, they had the t-shirt. I have the t-shirt and the hat now. They had a water bottle. I literally wish I had the entire collection because I would have gone like full Miles Morales artwork for my outfit. Like seriously, it would have been awesome, but I'm happy with the t-shirt and the hat because they're really cool. I wish they would have made a shoe of this design. Honestly, that would have been really cool. I would have totally gotten that. But the hat, thank you to Shop Disney for their, for their discounts because the hat was like, I think I got it for like 14 bucks, guys. And this thing is like 30 on Shop Disney for like its total price. So yeah, I got it at a discount. So that was pretty nice. But the hat fits great. I really like it. Only thing, it doesn't adjust very well with this part um, like this one does. Like it doesn't fold down as much. And I don't like that as much because... When it's straight like this, it looks kind of weird to me. Um, I'm used to them being more like this. So, I mean, that's like my main con about it. But other than that, yeah, great hat. I think it I think it definitely captures the uh, Miles Morales spirit very well. Like, especially with how he is in the, in the Spider-Verse movies, like with, you know, his artistic abilities and stuff like that. This really does work. Another thing, um, I kept the tag for uh, the hat and the t-shirt because, first of all, they have um, the original design on it. You guys see that? Which is, is really cool. And they do sell this painting. Um, like the actual painting with like the autograph on it and everything like that. So like this is an actual painting you can buy on Disney. But on the back, what's really cool about this tag is not just that. It tells about the artist on the back. I'm going to read the description of this guy to you guys real fast. Um, I really hope I can pronounce his name. 
Um, if he, if the artist for this design ever sees this video, I'm so sorry if I didn't get your name right. Um, but um, Mateus Ma Manahani, Ma I, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, you guys. <laughs> Literally, I don't. Okay, I'm sorry. But um, the artist, okay, uh, is an illustrator from Brazil, currently uh, based in Rio de Janeiro who specializes in card game illustrations, book covers, posters, character design, and gen general digital illustrations. He creates bold, uh, edgy illustrations and graphic art for a, variety, uh, for a variety of commercial and personal means that allow ima imaginative fantasies to turn into vibrant and textured realities. He is best known for his ongoing cover work for clients like Marvel Comics and other well-known studios, also collaborated with many brands in his free time. Uh, I'm going to say his first name is Mateus because it's... That's what it looks like it's pronounced as. Mateus likes to analyze and capture all the colors of life and get inspiration from films, especially horror movies. So, I'm just going to point that out for you guys real fast. Horror movies. I mean, I get, I mean, it's usually violent colors in horror movies, but like, this doesn't look like it came from a horror movie. It did say he gets his motivation from other things, not just horror movies, but like, this doesn't look like it came from a horror movie. I'm just going to say that right now. But, all things aside, credit to the artist. I love this design, and I love that it's on a hat and a t-shirt that I can wear to the gym because they look great together. I literally wore them yesterday together, and they looked amazing. Um, not to brag. <laughs> Next thing I want to show you guys, this is also kind of an add-on uh, for the order just to get the free shipping, but also because I did actually want this. I just wasn't sure how soon I was going to get it, but when I saw that I was going to get it for nine bucks, guys, I couldn't miss this chance because he's like, I don't know, he's like 40 or 30 on uh, Shop Disney because he's like from the Diamond Select series. Uh, that I actually collect a lot of Marvel figures from, which, because they're like, it's like pretty fancy action figures, all right? But I got, I find, and I don't have him yet, I finally got the Diamond Select Chewbacca. Guys, this guy, he's so much better than I thought he was. Literally, I saw him on Shop Disney and I saw him in the store and I was like, I don't know if I want him right now. I don't know if I'm gonna get him. But honestly, guys, he's great. Like, literally, look look at this. Look at this detail. Look at that. You see that? It looks just like him from the movie. And then he's got the bowcaster, of course, and then the satchel with the strap, obviously. But, like, the detail on this is fantastic, especially in the face, guys. Look at that. I mean, that's crazy, okay? But another thing that is really, really cool about, about this guy, and, you know, if you guys know Diamond Select, they love to put accessories in with their figures. What's really cool about this Chewbacca is, if you guys haven't seen Solo yet, spoiler alert, because this one I am going to spoil, because Solo's been out for a long time, and I think the Solo movie is good, just to let you guys know my opinion on the movie. Just a nice extra thing they added in with the figure, you got the dual strap satchel from, that he wears in the Solo movie, and his shotgun blaster that he also has in the Solo movie. So you can literally change Chewbacca into his Solo outfit, which is awesome i think that looks cool like i think it's a really great add-on okay so here he is in his solo outfit not really much different the only thing i'm going to say this may partially be my fault is shotgun it fits very loosely in his hand and that might be my fault because i've had the bowcaster in his hand for so long but like this thing it's very loose but i think the satchel is the coolest part i mean look at that that is really really awesome i Love this figure. I think they did a great job on him, and the detail is fantastic. I really like that, but the only con I'm going to say is I wish he had a tighter grip on the shotgun. That's just me. Um, now, we get to the good stuff, guys. Literally, this is, um, my opinion, these last three things. I didn't get much, but these last three things, I think it's the good stuff. All right? First of all, uh, I'm going to just quote the Spider-Verse movie, uh, the painting that Miles and his dad made for Miles' Uncle Aaron. Um, R.I.P. to Chadwick Boseman, uh, rest in power, is what I'm going to say. That's the reference. Recently, Disney has made a series for the Black Panther um, called World of Wakanda. And they're literally just making merch that uh, has artistic styles of kind of like African stuff and uh, Wakandan arts uh, that you'd see like in the Marvel movies. And one of the things they made is a Black Panther plush. Um, that is, the, it's the suit. But it's got like all these crazy colors on it, a like the big like neck thing. It's kind of like the tooth necklace he wears in the movie, but 
bigger and it's got like feathers on it. I don't know. It's just really cool. And I just really, really liked it. Like that's me. I, there's like some art styles that I'm really into. The Miles Morales hat that I showed you guys and this Black Panther that I actually did get because I am like 12 bucks guys. Like seriously, can't pass up the deal when they do this sale. But here he is. Black Panther, World of Wakanda style. Look at the details on that. Look, look at the colors. And this is the neck thing I was telling you guys about. Like literally guys, um, this is an amazing, amazing plush. I think that they did a really great job with this. I am very happy that I got this. I almost got him on my last Disney trip and I did show him for a little bit in one of my past vlogs. Can't remember exactly which one it is, but it wasn't an, it was an Epcot one. So go check that out. Um, my last Disney series was really fun to film and it was the first series that I actually got an all rides video into there without any complications except for Rock and Roller Coaster being closed and they are now open again and they opened like last month. I'm still counting it as an all rides challenge because Rock and Roller Coaster was closed the entire month. This guy, not really much else to say except that I love the art. I love the details on him. Um, he's actually got like a texture feel to him for his fabric that's like scratchy, like the suit would be, you know? It's just really cool and I like it a lot. Like they did a great job with this. Regarding his feet, he cannot stand up. They may look flat in the lens, but if you look at it from the side, they're actually rounded. So he cannot stand on his own, which I'm a little disappointed in. His face is kind of flat, if I'm just being picky. Um, his face is kind of flat, so I mean, they could have made it a little more rounded. Um, we get, gotten like the nose detail in there uh, for like his mask in the movie, you know? Um, but honestly, yeah, I don't really have any cons for this guy. I think he's, I think he's awesome. Um, he doesn't have any hands, though. He, he doesn't have any hands. It looks like he's wearing mittens. Um, and I think that's meant for like the style of it, you know, but even still some fingers or something would have been good on the hands, just saying. Um, but even, even that I'm just being picky. I'm just being overly picky guys. He was definitely one of the favorites of my purchases and was something I was going to get in Disneyland when I go in July. So Black Panther, really awesome guys. I geeked out hard when I saw that Disney was going to start selling this. And this was like last year. Um, and so like, this was, I can't believe I'm getting it. I got it just now, but like, guys, this is crazy. I can't believe I got, it. he's smaller than I thought he'd be, but oh my gosh, guys, I am so happy about this. I got the Loki alligator. Okay. Let me just back up for a second. In the Loki series, when Loki goes into the void, uh, well, he gets pruned, is what they call it. Um, and he goes into the void where all the time and space collide. Or he's at the end of time, is what they call it. Um, and he meets his other variants of himself. The kid version, the old version, or the classic version. And um, the boastful Loki uh, with the hammer, you know. And then alligator Loki. Us as a child us in the future and us as uh, uh, an alligator. It's best not to question it. I thought it was hilarious when they had alligator Loki and then they show for just a split second frog Thor buried in the dirt somewhere when it's going down into the Loki lair. Um, so now you know they got both animal versions of the characters in that episode, which is really, really cool, I must add. Um, but when I saw that they made Alligator Loki, I was like, okay, that's really funny, but also really, really cool. And then Avengers Campus opened, and I started seeing videos and posts and everything about Disney selling a plush of the Alligator Loki. Guys, like I said, I geeked out hard when I saw it. In the videos, he looked bigger. And I'm going to check when I go to Disneyland if they still have him in the stores there. I'm going to see if they have a bigger one because if they have a bigger one, I may get the bigger one too. There's not really much to him. He's basically your typical alligator plush, um, but he's got the Loki horns. They don't come off of his head, obviously, because he's Loki, but you know they're stitched on on the bottom you know, right here. But he's super soft, by the way. Like The fabric is really soft. I just think he's really cool, guys, Like, and he's kind of cute too. Um, I know he's an I know he's an alligator, but I think he's kind of cute. The fact that they started selling these 
is awesome. And I honestly was worried I wasn't going to get this one either because I thought they sold out. Um, but then they put it on Shop Disney, and I found out that they have a shoulder guy of him too. So I'm hoping to find the shoulder guy, you know, with the magnets that go under your shirt, and then you put him on your shoulder. I hope I find that guy too because I'd love to have both of them. Um, but I'm happy with this one. This is the one that I wanted, um, and I got him for a good price too. I waited for a long time purposefully because of this guy because he wouldn't go on sale for a long time. But then they did a sale just on the plushes, and thank goodness he was part of it. So I was able to get everything I wanted um, that I was going to bring home in my bag, but it was probably going like, to overstuff my bag. Definitely one of my favorites. Like literally, I don't have any things I don't like about this. Maybe just the fact that he's not very big. So maybe if he was bigger, I would be more happy. But that, again, that's just me being overly picky. So like literally, there's nothing I don't like about this. Um, one thing I want, I forgot to show you guys. Uh, this is the tag, by the way. For the World of Wakanda Black Panther um, that came with this guy. Um, I kept the tag because I just really like the design of the title, World of Wakanda. And I'll let you guys in on a little secret, okay? Um, I heard rumors that Disney is going to build a Black Panther themed part of Animal Kingdom. All right, there's going to be a whole Wakanda section. And I also heard rumors that before Chadwick Boseman's passing, uh, he actually went there to see the pre-construction like blueprints or whatever, like the design on the computers and stuff like that, so he could like approve it, so, so he could see it, you know? And I'm sad that he's not going to be here to see it in real life, um, you know, for obvious reasons, if they actually do make the thing at Animal Kingdom, which I really hope they do, because a Black Panther-themed area would be awesome finally get some more marvel stuff in florida and not just in california and i know for a fact that avengers campus does not have a wakanda themed land so that would just be really really fun i think that would be a great addition to animal kingdom because especially with the fact animal kingdom's the smallest park well no that's not true guys i found out animal kingdom is actually one of the largest parks on disney property uh, just because of the land and like the reserve, the animal reserves and stuff like that, it is the largest piece of land on Disney property. It's the largest, largest park, but it just does not have that many rides. Um, so they extended it with Pandora and everything like that. Um, so yeah, it, it is the largest one. I had no idea. Guys, this is the best thing I ordered out of all of this. 10 out of 10. Love it so much. Can't believe I actually got this. Very surprised I actually got something like this because I didn't used to like stuff like this, but I could not pass it up when I saw it. Look at that, guys! Look at that! Look how cool that is! Zombie Captain America statue, also from Diamond Select. Total price, $50. I waited on purpose to get this guy. Because one, $50 for this? He doesn't even weigh that much. He's like, this This guy's light, all right? He's like a light plastic material. I thought he was going to be heavier because uh, he's a statue, you know? And look, he's on an actual piece of train track, okay, railroad track, all right? Seriously, they could have made him heavier. So that's like my, my one con about this guy. Um, but it's Zombie Captain America from the What If series, uh, the episode of the What If series where they, do, where they fight the zombies. I think you've had enough, Cap. Guys, this guy is awesome. I got this guy uh, not for $50 because he was on the 50% off sale. So I got him for like $28. I think I, got him, I think I got him for like $26, $28. So like that was pretty good. And I got free shipping. So I didn't have to pay extra. Guys, seriously, the detail on this, like I said before, Diamond Select goes hard with the details. Okay? Seriously, I mean, like, look at this. The open part of his thigh that's, I think, also in the episode. That's in there, too. There's a little a bit of blood on the bone. Like, seriously, guys, that's how detailed these people are. This guy is crazy awesome. And the shield, I love the shield. Guys, the shield is awesome. Seriously. Um, yeah, I, I, words cannot describe. I try. But, like, guys, this guy is, this is maybe one of the greatest things I own. And I have never bought statues like i've always been to, into like the action figures like 
like Chewbacca, for example, okay, movable action figures. But when I saw that they were making this, I couldn't pass it up. Here's the other thing, though. The reason I got him on Shop Disney is because his box is huge. It is literally a cube, all right? It is a giant cube-shaped box, okay? And I could not bring that home, even if I tried on an airplane, all right? It wouldn't go in my suitcase, too big. It wouldn't go in my backpack, also too wide, okay? It would not work. So I had to wait, and I was so worried that I was going to miss my chance on this guy because, seriously, I thought he was going to go out of stock. But I got really lucky. Guys, this order, as small as it was, this is one of the greatest Shop Disney orders I've ever placed. It's mainly because of this guy and this guy, okay? I still plan to get the Marvel Legends figure of the Zombies characters because they got Iron Man, they got Captain America, they got Scarlet Witch, they got a bunch of different stuff. And guys, I literally, I love the Zombies episode of What If. It is my favorite episode of the series. Reviewing everything I got, you guys already know, 10 out of 10 on the statue, definitely. I think this is one of the greatest things ever. Um, Loki Gator, I'd say 8.5 out of 10, honestly. 8.5, He's you know, there's not too much detail to him, but I love him. Uh, so definitely 8.5. Chewbacca. Chewbacca is going to be probably an 8 out of 10 just because of the hand thing. I just, the hand thing... I just wish they'd fix that. And that also may be partially my fault because I had the bowcaster stuck in there, but it doesn't even that have that thick of a handle. So I really think that's not just that that's not mainly my fault. Um, Black Panther. I'm going to say eight out of 10 for him. You know, he's detailed. He's got the artwork to him. He's great. He's small though. And he's got the flat face and he's just a standard plush guy really for shape wise. So I'm going to say eight out of 10. Um, Miles Morales hat, definitely a 9. I'm going to say 9 out of 10. You guys may disagree, but the art design is what does it for me. Guys, I love it. That art design is killer. I love it so much. May the 4th hat, I'm going to say at 8 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 on Miles Morales hat, 8 out of 10 on the um, May the 4th hat. And I'm just happy that I finally got a May the 4th piece of merch. And I could have gotten more. They still have some of it on Shop Disney. Maybe I'll get it in the future. There's one other thing that I maybe want to get because uh, it's absolutely hilarious and I love that they actually made this at Disney, but I'm not going to tell you guys what it is yet. Um, You guys be the judges, though. Let me know in the comments what you think of the order that I placed. What would you rank this stuff as? What was your favorite? What was your least favorite that I showed you? Um, Upcoming content uh, for my channel, I have big surprise for you guys and it is it a work in progress um it has it was my graduation present and it is a work in progress i'm still learning how to use it but once i learn how to use it i will show you guys okay i promise you that also i got two things made for me uh by my mom with her cricket machine uh i will show you guys that in future video too they're totally awesome definitely love them a lot and they're part of the reason i got the amount of subscribers that I have because a lot of people that I know have seen me with them. So got references to my channel there. Um, that is all though, guys. If you enjoyed this video, and I really hope you guys did, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share the video, check out the rest of my videos on my channel. Remember, the force is with you on this blessed day, and I will see you guys real soon.